Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee and we are going to hop into spring summer trends, really summer trends, and whether you guys should get the designer or the dupe version. I have been dying to do this because honestly, this year, the things that are trending, I would say like 90% of them I love. Like, I love. Not low rise, that's about the only one. But... In general, I've been loving the trend. So I actually have 10 super trendy items. And we're going to talk about whether you should get the designer version or the dupe version. And why or why not. Kind of like the cost, the material, the quality in comparison to the price and which one might be better for you in your wardrobe. Okay, so the first thing that I've been seeing everywhere is the Gucci clogs. And these are some rubber cloths and they have the GG logo almost like cut out in the front of the shoe and they are a platform rubber clog emphasis on rubber now clogs are trending and I do like clogs because you get a little bit of elevation with them and they're essentially like a flat mule so I mean combine those two that's what you get but these particular clogs are rubber and they're retailing for right under $400, like $390. Now, I got the dupe. Boom. Look similar, don't they? Very, very similar. I got these off of Amazon, but I've also seen the dupe on Jeffrey Campbell and I think I'm going to get the cream ones from Jeffrey Campbell. And I've been in the store to see the actual Gucci rubber ones. For this item, personally, get the dupe. I <laughs> get the dupe. The only difference is that, first of all, these shoes are rubber. And they are $400. And although they're beautiful shoes, they are well made. They do have like a little bit of weight to them, but they're not heavy. You can They're substantial rubber, though. It's not like that cheap rubber it's almost like a clog I mean not like a clog it's almost like um what are these shoes called Crocs it's almost like Crocs like very very similar in the take these are platform Crocs but I did feel like the Gucci version was a little bit heavier so, the only reason that you would really pay the $400 premium is if you wanted the logos. Because, essentially, that is the difference in the shoe. Now, I'm not saying that I don't love the shoe. And I'm not saying that I wasn't tempted to buy this shoe several times. Like, it was in the cart. However, I just think that the dupes will do considering they're rubber. Okay, the next item... <laughs> This is another good one. This item is called the Prada Crystal, Prada Satin Crystal Mini Re-Edition. It's a 2000 bag. Okay, so this is essentially kind of like that classic Prada bag. Now, the dupe for this bag is by Brandon Blackwood. This is the Brandon Blackwood sale bag, I want to say, but he just came out with this diamond collection. Now, granted, the color schemes are different. However, the shape of the bag, the design of the bag is virtually the same, and this is a dupe. I think that this bag is like $350, and the Prada bag is $2,000 plus. I'll just say because they range because now I think that you have to kind of like catch them because they're very, very rare. I would recommend 10 out of 10 to get the dupe on this bag. For one, I think that bag is satin by Prada. This is leather. Still has the same diamond effect and it actually has more diamonds than the Prada one does. It's black owned so you can support a small black owned business. And the quality is top tier i don't care what anybody says and i'm gonna say this bag was so good to me that i bought two she did it i have two of these because when i got the first one in the mail i was just like this is too good to be true 
And for this style of the Prada bag, Brandon Blackwood has even like nylon versions. So there's a nylon version for like 2000 or you can get a nylon ver version for like 200 It's what the essentially what I see, especially with these last two items, is you're really only paying for the name. You're not paying for the quality, the construction, the design. It's just the name. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't get it, but before you get it, maybe try to do. <laughs> okay, we are going to get into some Bottega items. I have a few Bottega items. One of them is their dumpling bag. It's kind of like a pouch clutch type of bag. And the dupes for these bags are literally everywhere. Like you can find a dupe for this bag on any website at any given time. However, most of the most of those dupes are like faux leather, which is great. Don't get me wrong. If, especially if you just want to try it out, I would definitely go with the faux leather version. But if you actually really, really like the bag, there are dupes out there, especially on Etsy. Etsy is killing it with the dupes and they are actually leather so you get the quality it's not going to be the same quality as Bottega but you do still get high quality without actually paying the premium for this particular bag I have two off of Etsy and one of them I feel like I showed in a luxury haul and it's this gold one this gold one is huge but this is my girl I wear her a lot she's almost like this paper bag leather and yeah that's the bag i be like this i like to put all of my dust bags in here for storage because it helps to keep its shape but i also have this one look at her she's so cute this silver metallic one that is amazing i personally love the shape of these bags i love the construction of these bags and if I were in a higher tax bracket, I would definitely buy at least one of the real versions of this bag. So in this case of like designer or dupe, I would say both. You can still get the, because what's great about this bag in general is there's no logos. It's really only recognizable because of the shape and the quality of the bag. So, so it depends on if your price range is more of like $100 or if you're, price range is in the thousands two three thousand dollars me personally i don't feel like this bag is worth two three thousand dollars i just don't so i would always go for the dupe over the over the designer however if you got it go get it another thing on like the bottega list now i'm not going to even I don't have a dupe for this. I don't even know if I want a dupe for this. It's, but we're going to talk about this one. And it's these Bottega towel items. Like they have the towel shoes. They have the towel bag. They have the towel slides. They, the heels. The baby girl. This, <laughs> this is a towel. Like a beach towel on a shoe. I can't, this is terry cloth, okay? I'm not sure if that's the actual texture of it, but that's what it gives. It gives terry cloth. And then there's another Bottega bag that looks like a mop. We're not doing this. In, in this case, it's dupe all day. If you just want something that's kind of like, I feel like that's Bottega taking chances. I feel like that's be, them being creative. That's them kind of like stepping outside of the box. And I think that the concept is amazing. I think that in terms of like art, it's beautiful, like 10 out of 10. However, to purchase as a designer item, that to me is a negative. I would always go for the dupe on this item. And there are dupes, okay? It's literally, if you want a shoe, go to Ego Shoes. I guarantee you they have a shoe. Jeffrey Campbell probably has a shoe or Steve Madden has a shoe. Okay, but this whole terry cloth moment, it's a negative. Okay, hands down, we're not even going to talk about this anymore. Get the dupe. Or just don't get it at all. Because honestly, that's going to be like an item that really only 
is trending i would give it maybe like three four five more months tops like, I feel like once it starts to get cooler outside again, that item is going to go away and it's never going to come back. And then the last Bottega item that I have is the Jody bag. This bag is stunning. And again, I do love the fact that Bottega does not have, like, logos, but the quality of Bottega is amazing, okay? Now, this particular bag has also been duped I would go with the designer. I would, and I just think this is a personal preference, but I love this bag. It's expensive, but it's not as expensive as most of the Bottega items that we see. So I don't think that it's horribly priced. Honestly, during the pandemic, this bag was cheaper. I feel like it was more or less like 16, 15 or 1600. It was definitely a little bit less expensive so if you were into the bag before and you got it i feel like you got a good deal because i know now it's coming in at like under two thousand i'm like right underneath it i know it's a lot more expensive but i love this bag i have this bag on my wish list okay now we have the mason margella slash jeans that's not what they're called let me read what they're called they are called the Mason Margiela Distress Straight Leg Jeans. I call these like the side slash jeans. And I actually have them on right now. <laughs> you guys, hold on. Let me get my stool so I can show you. Uh, these babies. Ooh, legs. Legs and hips and body. Get them, girls. Body, yaddy. These jeans, designer or dupe? If you don't know the answer to this one, I don't know what to tell you. The designer. These jeans cannot be duplicated. I don't care what anyone says. I've tried, I've looked, I've been on the inner and outer nets. The fit of these jeans is remarkable. The waist is small and from the waist, the jeans start to bellow out. So they give you hips and legs and body, whether you have them or not. And then that slash on the side, it's almost like a little peekaboo, like it's slightly sexy and it slashes right at the thigh and it gives a good breeze. And the denim is like lightweight. I can just go on and on about these jeans. I wear them probably like once a week. There is no real dupe. People have even sent me dupes on Instagram because we talk about these jeans a lot. And they're not dupable. So designer it is. I don't even know if that's a word. Okay, we have a couple of pieces from The Attico. The Attico is a newer brand and it's more of like a contemporary ready to wear a brand, luxury brand. I feel like they got super popular with their mules, which everybody dupes and then i see a lot of their clothing but again this is a brand that is kind of like if you know you know it's in your face but it's not you wouldn't know unless you knew that's all i'm trying to say so i have a few pieces from the attico that i want to show you guys dupes for and we can talk about whether to get the designer or the dupe now this one is the attico sequin skirt crazy enough i actually pin this on pinterest because it came up on my feed and i was just like gagging over it now as i was online because I, I be on the internet as i was online i found this skirt and this is from lioness and lioness i've been wearing a lot of their clothing lately this is an australian brand and she is that girl so when i saw this I was like, hold up. It's a skirt. A sequin skirt. The dupe. We, we just gonna get the dupe. The other item from the Attico is their cargo jeans. I've, cargo jeans are huge right now. They're trending. Everybody is into them. Cargo jeans are just killing it. And I felt like the Attico was one of the designers that really kind of like pushed it, was on board, was on trend with it during fashion week they have these denim cargo jeans they're super wide leg a bunch of pockets 
so dope and i found a dupe look at these i haven't worn them yet but trust and believe that they are amazing these are by the crypt and I found this brand on Selfridges. So it's kind of like a lioness clothing. Almost like a Zara or like a, a River Island or a Bershka or something like that. Pretty, not overly expensive in my opinion. Again, these are cargo jeans. Cargo jeans have been around for a while. They did honestly kind of alter the fit of them. Which is why I love the Attico version of them so much. But in terms of like how accessible they are and price and cost per wear, we're going to go with the dupe. Now the Attico heels, I would go with the design. That's just me. All right, so this one is going to be like a love or hate item because I know a lot of people do not like this item. I personally do, and it is the Loewe OB belt. This belt to me is phenomenal. I love like the curves that it gives the body and like the interest that it adds to an outfit. I also love the versatility in the actual belt. I just think that it's an accessory that you can you can add to a lot of things and change up the whole look and mm, it's phenomenal. Now there are dupes of this belt on, I've seen it on Etsy, I've even seen it on some fast fashion brands and the thing is, I feel like you have to go with the designer on this particular item. If you want to get it, nobody is duping it right. Because the shape of the belt itself is like really, really structured. And most of the dupes don't give that. They give flimsy, they give cheap. And this particular piece cannot give cheap. Now, I have the denim one. And she's cute. Like... She is doing what needs to be done. And you can even tell on the hanger with the shape of this particular belt. I absolutely love this. I know that it is pricey. This is this belt is high. However, you have to understand, for one, these belts have been around for ages. You're going to get your cost per wear. And it's probably going to be something that you keep in your wardrobe. Because it's an accessory. It's almost like buying a bag. That's how I'm looking at it. I know it's a belt, but it's also a bag. Like, it's an accessory or a shoe or whatever you want to compare it or a piece of jewelry. So, think about it like that because you're going to get much, much more wear out of it over time than you would a clothing article. The next one is that diamond top or even that feather top that's been really popular i'm not really sure exactly what brand it is off the back or what brands they are off the back but i'll put them on the screen they have been popular for maybe like three four months now i feel like pretty much since a little bit after new year's i've been seeing them everywhere and they are stunning and i have been waiting Waiting, 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 waiting forever for a brand to launch a dupe of this because I personally feel like it was overpriced for what it was. It's just literally like a tube top. Basically, like the top that I have on, it's with either the feathers all over it or the little diamond sparkles. Need I say more? Zara has dupes. Nasty Gal has dupes. You, somebody has, and I'm going to leave them linked below. Most of the dupes that I found were like $60, $70 and under. So why wouldn't you get the dupe, especially for an item like this? This item is way too trendy. Kind of like those Gucci clogs. And I didn't say that earlier, but I, now that I'm thinking about it, the clogs, this is a very trendy item, meaning it might not hold its longevity. So if, if something is not going to stay in style or be really trendy for a long time, then you might just want to get the dupe, especially if you just want to try something out, get the dupe. That diamond top and like that feather top, although stunning, listen, that's stunning. The, these two tops, are that girl i love them i wish they had been trending before i think that these are phenomenal i want both of, well i actually have a diamond top in my wardrobe from czar 
and I wore that. I'll insert the picture over here. But the feather top, I ordered one from Nasty Gal because I want the top. I, I just don't think that it's worth the premium for what it is and because it is super trendy. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about it in a year. You know, it, but it's something that excites me. And so it's something that I want to try, but it's not something that I want to commit to. So if you like me, get the dupe. Ooh. <laughs> Woo. You ain't got to worry about me. You don't got to worry about me. Okay, these are the Celine glasses from Amazon. Okay, thanks to Janae of Hello Looks for linking these and basically talking about how she wore these all through Fashion Week when she was, was in Milan or Paris? And she was getting photographed. She was literally all over the blogs, the vlogs, Pinterest, everything. Like, I saw her everywhere. And these are the Celine Dupe sunglasses that she linked. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I ain't going to lie to you. Even down to the shape of the side of the glasses, it looks just like Celine. Get the Dupe. If you want these glasses, these are classic glasses, too. And they're like $15 on Amazon. Get the dupe. I've had this dupe since April. It's perfect. I wear them all the time. I actually just shot in them yesterday. I love these and they are like really, really black, really dark sunglasses. I think that they're chic. You don't have to worry about losing them or breaking them because you can literally just go back on Amazon and get you another pair. Get the dupe on these because the dupes are dupey. The last designer dupe debate is actually a fragrance, and it is Baccarat Rouge 540. Y'all know this is TikTok's, Instagram's favorite fragrance. I feel like that it is the most hyped fragrance yet. And I'm not going to lie, it smells divine. I actually love the scent. Love the scent, had a sample of the scent, debated purchasing the scent. And I couldn't bring myself to purchase it. I think that the cheapest Rouge 540 that I found was like an oil and it was $100. But earlier this year I did a partnership with Walmart and Dossier Scents and they got a fragrance. So I bought it. I bought the dupe. I bought the Ambry Saffron, which is the Baccarat rouge 540 dupe and when i wear this people will literally stop me and they'll be like you smell mesmerizing what is that it's dossier because the fact of the matter is this dupe actually dupes the regular scent this one is like 50 dollars. you still virtually get the same thing the only difference that i will say is the quality of course the baccarat one is higher quality it lasts longer it's stronger However, this will do. I think for the price, especially if you're not heavily into fragrance or you just don't want to spend that price tag, this dupe works. Even if I have to reapply it, I don't mind. It smells so good. <coughs> and I'm choking. I spray too much. So y'all, that is it for designer versus dupe. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment below and any other fashion content that you're interested in. I love you guys. Make sure that you subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.